How's it going, everyone? My name is Sergio Galliano. You're watching a live chat with Henry Tyler. How's it going, Henry? It's going pretty well, Sergio. How are you doing? It's been a good day. It's been a good day. All right. We, we did our first episode for live sets. You were on that. We're doing our first episode for live chat. It's exciting. You played three songs on live set, though. Pretty interesting songs. Which ones were they? Uh, I did a cover song called Third Planet. Uh, that was originally written by Modest Mouse. Um, I chose that song because I think it, it really reflects uh, a time in my life where I was really branching out, exploring new sides of music that I hadn't before. Um, it, I was writing a lot of music on my own. Um, and I just think it, re it reflects uh, an important kind of change in my life. That's good, that's good. Um, I also think that it, it kind of called for a little bit more, and that's why I choose covers. Um, I played Darling Couldn't You Come Home, which is an original. It's the first single off my EP that was released November 6th. By the time everyone will be watching this, uh, it will have already been out. Uh, right. We're recording right now a week from November 6th. Right, so. there's a whole time yeah, absolutely. difference. Um, so that's really exciting. Yeah. Um, I also played a song called Subway Thoughts, which is a brand new song. Um, not on the album. Okay. So this is really the first time right. anyone's ever going to be able to hear it. Ooh, kind of an exclusive little thing for live. That's exciting. That's good. That's a good thing, dude. And you know what? Heard the album. Good album. Thank you. Good album. <laughs> All right. So if anyone didn't know, this is a live chat with Henry Tyler. And what we do here is we, as a music fan, talk to a musician about music. It's a really simple thing where we have a discussion, we have three topics, and we divide them up week by week. And the last week, it's the full thing with a third topic offered by our resident musician. All right, so let's get right into it. Let's talk about your album, Henry. How'd you do it? Why'd you do it? What's the deal? Well, um, I, you know, I've been playing music in bands uh, for years, you know, in high school, uh, years before that, years after that. And, uh, now that I've, I've moved to Philadelphia, I'm studying architecture uh, at Drexel University, and um, uh, a lot of this a lot of last year, rather, uh, my first year studying was trying to find a balance between you know my studies and and my music, which I've been doing my whole life. I mean, like I, architecture is like a big deal, isn't it? It's like like a hours, like yeah. nights of work. Yeah. Like what's the? It, I, it eats away at you. I mean, it, it's a lot. It's a lot to handle, especially especially just coming into it. You know, it, it gets easier as I, it goes, I think. You, you learn how to manage your time and everything. But, okay. but the first year is definitely, is, is very intensive. It, it's, you know, they rewired your brain. They need you to think <laughs> a different way. And, and it's, it's, I mean, it's really exciting. But at the same time, for someone who's really trying to cling to something that I've been doing their whole life that's separate from that, it, it, it's challenging. It, it's hard. How'd it's you hard. find the time to, to make an album? Well, um, you know, Pretty much all the free time I had uh, between the hours of maybe 8 p.m. and 6 a.m. Jesus. I, I linked up with a student who I met in an open mic night who's a music industry student. Uh, he has access to all the all the Drexel recording studios and all the mm. equipment and wow. knows. He's learning. Uh, he's studying himself in that field. And uh, he wanted people to record. I wanted someone to record my music. And it kind of worked that way. Well, that is a deal and a half. I've ever heard one. There it is. Wow. That's good, dude. But, okay. How long did it take you to do this, though? I mean, this is like, like th there's some awesome stuff on that album. It, it sounds well produced, all right? And you're 19, okay? So this is something that, this is kind of impressive. You don't see this every day, right? So what's the deal with that? Well, I mean, yeah. So the whole album is, is it's a full band CD. Right. So, That's what I'm, you know, uh. At, you know, playing in bands my whole life, people, we'd practice in my house. Okay. So the drum set, the bass guitars, all the amps, they'd be in my basement. And when I come from home from school, uh, I, didn't, I didn't know how to play the drums, but I'd sit down on the drums and I'd just, I'd just play. And, and kind of over time, you know, skills developed in, and, you know, songs that I heard in my head that I had written by myself... Um, as apart from writing collectively with with a whole band, which you know produces a very different outcome than than you know writing songs that reflect you know your own experiences and your own yeah. feelings, um, I would be able to hear the songs that I heard in my head with with you know all of the instruments, not with just an acoustic guitar, which is how I wrote the songs, and 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 eventually I I kind of thought I can do this, 
the drums that I hear in my head, I can actually, I can actually play. I can sit down on the drums and play them. The <laughs> bass, I, I can back some guitar. All right, and, yeah. And it, it was, it kind of worked that way. And just over time, you know, skills developed, and the, you know, I was able to just kind of make uh, physicality out of the things that I heard in my head for so long. Wow. Okay. So, all right. Give me, give me some background, some inside scoops on this album. Okay, I mean, I know that on, in in the album you have like backing vocals. Like, where'd you get those? Is that you? I mean, I mean, I mean, what's a lot of what a producer does uh, and a sound engineer does with you in the studio is listen to your music from an unbiased perspective and say, you know what, I think I think this could, I think you can add some backing vocals here. I think you can add a little bit of lead here. You know, it seems a little bit empty here. It seems a little bit too cluttered here, blah, blah, blah. You know, stuff like that. Mm. And it's, and they're really there to kind of help you uh, work through these songs, especially with me. I, I knew that I had never, you know, recorded demos for any of this music. This has all just been, like I said earlier, in my head for right, so right, long. Right. Yeah. Almost a year for some of these songs. Dang. So uh, that's really what they're there for, kind of to help you through it work it out, you know? Oh, that's good.